Hello, hello. Morning, guys. We are live. Um, hopefully we're live. If you can see this, please, can you give me a thumbs up? Please, can you give me a heart? Or even write your name because we're using StreamYard. And when we use StreamYard, it doesn't always tell us who is here and who is speaking. And I would love to know who we're talking to for this interview. Um, it was a crazy day yesterday in the, the Race to Occurring Revenue Group. I felt like I answered a million questions, um, was answering and talking to people all day. But it's been lovely to see all of your excitement about coming into One to Many. So um, I love that you share that with us. And any questions you have, you know that there's a whole team in there. And all the people that have done One to Many before, there's a few people in there who can help you as well. So if you ever need help with any of it, then please do let us know. Just say hi on here so that we know you're here. I can see four people have joined us live, but it's not telling me who they are. So we'll carry on anyway. All got seven now. So I'm here today with another interview. I've promised to give you as many success stories as I can fit in to my day while launching, um, which is no mean feat, but we've managed to get you quite a few so far. I wanted to give you another one. And I'm trying to show you the different types of uh, recurring revenue that can be made because I think some people always think you have to only be talking about business um, and it has to be about money and it doesn't. So I'm trying to show you as many as I can that aren't about those things so that you can see you can make money from so many different things like with Lauren yesterday. So today I'm here with Hannah, Hannah Love. Hannah is a parenting and sleep coach, um, specialist, however you want to call it. And um, what year did you do one to many, Hannah? October 2020. I was in the, the lockdown one. <laughs> yeah. We call that the lockdown one. And in the lockdown um, cohort, when you were like deciding whether to come on to one to many, did you have any reservations or what were you looking for at the time? Uh, to be honest, before I found Race for Recurring Revenue, I didn't realise that I actually needed you. <laughs> I didn't know that I needed the course. Um, my business at the time, it had grown every year. I was only working one-to-one -one, um, and, and it was going well. I, I had a thriving business. I was helping lots of families with sleep um, and I built it all while I was raising my own three children. They'd, Henry, my youngest, had gone off to school the year before and then lockdown hit and mm. everybody needed me. The maternity services shut down, postnatal care shut down, people didn't have their health visitors. And um, at the beginning of 2020, I was just getting so many inquiries and I couldn't keep up. And I didn't know how to manage that. I wanted a way to help lots of people for free that needed me, but yeah. also continue having a business. And when you're doing it one-to-one, -one, that's just impossible. You can't yeah. kind of filter out how, how to help people. And then I don't even know how I came across. It must have been an advert on Facebook. And then I came in and, and I remember my husband, because he was working from home at the time, coming in and listening. He goes, what the hell are you listening to? <laughs> that's what all the husbands do. <laughs> <laughs> and just so many things resonated with me. Um, the fact that I'd let, reached my ceiling, the way that I wanted to help more people, that I could do group courses, I could carry on doing my one-to-one, -one, which I do enjoy doing at the same time. And, and there were so many light bulb moments over those few days. But I was still hesitant because I'd never, ever done a business course before. Yeah, and it's really um, normal to be hesitant. I think that our brains do that on purpose to keep us safe. I don't think it's a bad thing. I mean, it was taking me completely out of my comfort zone. I mean, I'd worked as a nurse I'd worked as a nutritional therapist. I'd then worked as a sleep specialist and I was a mum and a nanny. I'd never worked in an office. I'd never done any kind of, um, my tech is awful. Like <laughs> I literally, my pet, my husband looked at my laptop and he's like, how the hell do you work like that? So I'd never done anything like this. And I was thinking, am I going to be able to keep up with it? Am I going to be able to do that side of things? And, and actually, because I was guided through each section on all of the different modules I just sat there and I just got it done got it and done. that's what we like getting it done <laughs> uh, because and, it, is, um, yeah. it is step by step isn't it like some people want to go faster but we don't let them <laughs> and some people are like you need to really slow it down I'm like you need to keep try and keep up um because there is a pace that works and 
you know, I don't want people to think it's a get rich quick scheme. It isn't like, you know, you're not going to come in and make money probably within the first three months, maybe even six. And I think that's really important to be honest about because well, you were you were a unicorn, but most people don't. So tell us and you remember that you already were working in the field. Some people are doing a brand new thing. You already were known as a sleep coach. Yeah, I was. And and I and as I said, I'd reached my ceiling one to one. So I was being recommended everywhere. I had my website. So my business was good. But I I was only being I was only able to help two or three families a week, maximum um, one to one. Um, I opened I started in the October. I opened up my community at the beginning of December and I launched my first online course in January. Um, <laughs> you're telling everyone you can't make money in the first three months. And you're like, uh, I, I'd, I'd, I'd made back what I spent on one to only three times over by the January. So, yeah, I'd, wow. Yeah, you know, so my first my first launch. Um, yeah, it was about 10,000, I think, looking back. I can't remember yeah um in the January but I just everybody January is always my 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 busiest month um and everybody was crying out for the course so I was up I was in the middle of lockdown weren't wasn't going out anywhere was the thing I was up at four o'clock in the morning before starting home tutoring and doing all of the other things that you need to do with three kids in lockdown and yeah. um, writing my course and and I was like can I do this and I thought well I'll just put it out there and I put it at a low price and I managed to sell a number of the courses which was great and so between then and now how much would you say you have made in passive income from from one to many um well I've, I've I've launched that course four times now and the biggest, well, this January and the January before it was £47,000 launches both times. Wow. Um, and um, the other launches were lower. I, I think, I, I don't know, I'm, this is the type side of my business that I'm useless at, but I know that last year I earned double the amount that I've learned, earned for the last three years, so around £60,000 a year for the last couple of years. £60,000 a year? That's yeah. amazing. Like, I think... Why was it you earning before? And that's that can be life changing for some people. One hundred and twenty thousand extra mm. in that couple of years can do a lot of good. Can do, you know it can change things for you. Yeah, I think the other thing as well though is is I'm earning that much more money, but I'm not working as hard. Before I was doing, I was doing twenty four hour cover. Whenever I went on holiday, I wasn't having a day off. I was mm. having calls on Christmas Day on my children's birthdays. I was working tw- I was twenty four seven on call for the families that I'm working for. Now I've got much stricter boundaries. I have weekends off. I'm going on holiday tomorrow morning, and I'm having ten days where I'm not answering calls. Nice. Um, and as well, on top of that, I've got a community of nine thousand. I'm helping all of those parents for free on a daily basis my my last um uh, like my equivalent to race through re- recurring revenue my um my um free free workshop that i did was had um 5000 people on there and and the testimonials from just doing that free workshop are amazing so i'm helping yeah. all the families for free I'm also making a really good thriving business out of it and I'm having more time with my family. So, I mean, it's a yeah. win-win situation. Right. Really. And I think people forget about that side because one of the bits that I love most is because I'm making so much passive income, I can do a lot more for free. Yeah. You know, the people that can't afford to work with me, I'm able to now do challenges. I'm able now to do free workshops and things like that. And that impact that we can have, I always talk about this ripple effect that we can have, like by me teaching you how to do this, yeah. you can have this ripple effect where you've helped like hundreds and hundreds of families who otherwise would be like totally stressed out. And that's a ripple effect because it changes things in the world. Um, yeah. And you can impact more people in all different ways. And whether that's, you know, whether you're listening and you're a philanthropist that wants to do more charitable work, but you don't have yeah. the time to do it. If you then have passive income, you get the time to do the things that you really want to make a difference about in life, which I think is really important. Exactly. So, Tell us a bit about your courses. So what's so, your main course? What does it sell? What do you do? I've got my main, I've got my main sleep course, which I've got a newborn version, now a baby version and a toddler version. So I've got three versions of my signature sleep course. And then I've also got lots of parenting courses on everything from potty training to um, toddler behavior. I just wrote one yesterday that should be out today on how to transition from the breast to the bottle, how to stop feeding to sleep, um, transitions back to work, because I'm hoping to get into corporate 
Roberts with the help of Camel, yeah. who's also in your I also in your... did one to many. <laughs> yeah, I also did one to many. Um, I'm writing a book, which is basically my signature baby sleep course with Abby. <laughs> which... You also, you also did one to many. I love these <laughs> connections. And this is a big part, I think, of one to many that I maybe don't talk about very much. People make a lot of connections in yeah. there with other people that are, mm. you know, that help them in some way, whether it's referring people to them or, you know, like you, Carol helping you with the corpora and um, Abby helping you write your book. And I think it's a great network of people because I attract really good people absolutely yeah I mean I knew that when I went when I jumped in and went to New York and met well met Carol and that's where I met Lickler as well and I'm in her in her um, membership as well so no it's it's just meeting those connections and and yeah they're all just lovely people absolutely amazing so what's next for you um I've I've got my membership now last time we spoke on this last year I was thinking about doing a membership so I've got a membership now which has got 130 people in it which is lovely Amazing. so I'm supporting them um I'm hoping to get into corporate so I'm yeah that that's all in the pipeline and my book launch is going to be next February so I've got that how point. exciting I'm really glad you're carrying on with it all and you're adding to each of these revenue streams to make even more passive income because that's what it's about that compound effect of yeah. doing more somebody's written I so need you Hannah my little girl is 15 months and wakes up four or five times per night wanting a breastfeed it doesn't matter if she's a big supper or not I think it's a comfort thing but it's exhausting go check out Hannah, um, Hannah where was the best place that she can come over and talk to you yeah you can find me on Instagram sleep well with Hannah with underscores and un underneath what each one or um yeah my my private Facebook community which is sleep yummy baby group sleep well with Hannah amazing see yeah. so many people that need your help um, <laughs> and this is the thing guys there will be knowledge that you have that you don't realize you can make money from but you know people need you you can see this here like there is always somebody that needs the knowledge that you have i will have to check it out after this good I'm glad you are um but yeah amazing how I've loved speaking to you I always do you're always doing something new and it's always really exciting um I hope you impact even more people over the coming year with your new ideas and especially with your book which everybody's going to go and buy as kids um, <laughs> thank, you, thank you guys as well for listening and tuning into these um I know I've taken up a lot of your time over the past week and a half um but we're going to be doing on Sunday a lunch and learn where I'm going to have a few people who have done one to many just chatting for an hour um, between us all. So I hope you come and watch that as well. And if you have any questions at all about one to many, then please do ask in the group. I'm there all day and I will speak to you all later. And I'll I'm speak to you. People email me separately and I'm more than happy to answer questions because it's literally the best thing that I've done for my business. So recommend it to anyone if you're thinking about it. <laughs> oh, thanks, Hannah. That's lovely of you to say. Um, and I'll speak to you all later. Have a good rest of your day, whatever it is that you're doing. Thanks, Lisa. See you later. Bye-bye.